Good morning, guys. It's me again. Got a little late start today. We're actually gonna fish the tide turn and try and get on some snappers. We're out here drifting, looking for some bait. Bait's a little harder to find uh, in the summertime. So typically we fish with pins. There's a lot of mahua around, but they're hard to keep alive. So been seeing a couple smaller schools of pilchards around um, in the channels. If you're from around here, you know exactly where I'm at. But we're gonna see what we can get on. See a lot of mahua right here, but it's not what we're looking for. the bait we're looking for, but it'll work the chum. common to find pilchards in the summertime. Typically we're fishing with pinfish, um, chum with mahua, but we found a nice school of pilchards over here, so we're gonna try and get the net on them. They're kinda uh, tucked up in the mangroves, but we're gonna give it a shot. Hail Mary here. Ah, probably short. They are sand. They're probably gonna die anyway. So the pilchards were pretty tough to get. Um, throwing a 3 16 net, it's a really fine mesh. It allows me to throw, mix in with these mahuas um, and not get them uh, Christmas tree, but they'll stay alive. We got a few pilchards mixed in there, mainly mahua. They're harder to keep alive unless you have the perfect live well, mainly because they, they wedge between everything, but we're not gonna be fishing for too long. They're kinda, they're all right for what we'll be doing. We're just gonna be um, targeting snappers and maybe some jacks and stuff, so. We'll get out there and try and get on them. Will's on to something nice here, taking a little drag. Don't lose him. Nice mangy. Nope. Oh, it's a world record grunt. <laughs> Good Biggest lord. Grunt <laughs> something a little beefier? Oh, yeah. That is a mutton. That's no, a pear fish. Pear fish. What? Look at this. Oh, Never that's got to be a, a first. Walk back. Walk back this walk way. Back this way. Look at what that thing. What in the hell? Wait. That was good eating. No, that is a pudding wife wrasse. Same thing. It's a pair <laughs> I'm not a doctor. I don't know. Looks like a parrotfish. <laughs> Just gave up. <laughs> the Hollywood drag? <laughs> you gotta have the Hollywood drag. <laughs> Yellow tail snapper. <laughs> Strawberry grouper. <laughs> Depends who you ask. Yeah. There's one of the hinds though. <laughs> that teeth on that thing. Nice. Nice doggy we got here. Beautiful. Tell the difference in these guys, they don't have the stripes. They got that little blue, a little more blue on there. They're uh, more orange, not as yellow. Beautiful fish. Big enough though, he's going in the box. Hell yeah. Going in the box. Oh, That's a schoolmaster. School okay. Beautiful. Look at the colors on that guy. So the name of the game here is we're fishing. Will's got a knocker rig going. Just a small hook with a free weight. Uh, I've got the other two guys. We're fishing jigs. There's a variety of sizes. I'm not going to guess what ounces they are because I don't memorize all these, but. That's what we're using right now because the current's roasting. Ooh, that's hooked. 
Just barely. <laughs> oh, <laughs> almost lost in there. Nice schoolmaster. These are the mahuas. They don't stay alive very well, but everything loves to eat them. You can see quite a bit of them are dying and coming out, but they're staying all right. Let's see if I can find a pilchard for you. That'd be a couple of pilchies in here somewhere, right? Hey, yeah, there you go. <laughs> you fishing with dead ones? Yep. So that's the difference. Oh! They're getting This is actually a sand key pilchard. He doesn't want to cooperate. They're a little different. Well, all we're doing is we're clipping them on these little jigs and kind of letting them go back with the current. With the rock piles back here behind us. Probably about 50 feet, 100 feet, maybe a little more. Got a little bit of weather moving in. I think we're gonna call it early. is about 400 feet that way you can't even see it i think we're gonna call it we'll try and push through this not get struck by lightning all right guys back at the house uh we got that dog snapper from yesterday not very big it was a slow day i'm gonna show you what i do when we have some smaller fish like this most snapper are pretty straightforward if you've ever flayed a fish you can flay a snapper i'm not too concerned with getting all the meat off the bones because i'm going to use the majority of the fish Straight down the back. Flip her over, do the same on the other side. I'm actually not gonna cook the head tonight. I'm gonna use just the, uh, the carcass, the back majority of it. Straight knife helps a ton with that. So I'm gonna keep that piece right there. A Little bit of meat in there. I'll show you how much actually is in there once I cook that. Take a little bit of scales off what's left. Best to do this with a spoon so you don't cut yourself all the time like I do, but I'll never learn. All right, that's pretty good. Take the skin off these guys. Bones out, of course. Most snapper for the most part cooks up the same. Um, this isn't a super secret recipe or anything. I'm gonna mainly show you what I like on the side of this. Dog snappers are one of the less common snappers. We get a lot of yellow tails. Oh, they got tarpon back there. Jordan, you up there? Yeah, there's like three of them. You see the tarpon? Yeah, there's like three of them. <laughs> um, anyways, that's ready to go. Got that, we're gonna take that upstairs and I'll show you what we're gonna do with it.
right guys, I'm showered up, I'm cleaned up, ready to go. First off, I'm not a professional cook, I have no professional training. This is my first uh, clean and cook, so try and bear with me. Um, got my snapper here, cubed up, got a little bit of pulper domes on there, and I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, badia, I think. Uh, this is a spicy um, seasoning that I like to add. Um, gives this a little kick. Got the carcass there, olive oil, light seasoning on both sides. This is gonna go on the grill here in a second. Um, the main thing I like about this dish is the salad. So this is red onion, um, sliced julienne. I use a, a mandolin, I'm not patient enough to try and do this. The main thing I do with this stuff is I'm, I'm soaking this in lemon and lime. Don't do it if you got cuts in your hands, use water. And what I wanna do is I wanna kill this because I don't like the, personally, I don't like the, uh, the harsh taste of red onion. If you like the harsh taste, by all means, throw it in there without doing this. So I'm kind of just massaging this, getting the, like I said, the harsh taste of the red onion out of there. And you'll see that all the juice in there starts to turn red. I'm gonna drain that out. This is an extremely simple salad. Stole this from a friend, kind of altered it. Got diced uh, vine ripe tomatoes, bunch of cilantro, I love cilantro. And some more juice. This is two lemons and two limes. And some olive oil. Toss that up. If you have not tried something like this, I highly recommend it. It is extremely refreshing in the summertime. Uh, just like in the winter, you crave chili. Summertime, this is my go-to. Uh, a little salt pepper. We're gonna throw this in the fridge, let it kind of chill, chill out, and we'll um, throw the fish on the grill. So I'm gonna put the, the little cube pieces on a piece of aluminum. As you probably already know, snappers, very delicate, likes to fall apart. So we'll get those going. And then that little piece right there, that little yummy morsel, cooks really quickly. Um, wait till it's pretty much done. The rest of it's pretty much done. What do you think, Tipsy, you want some? Nope. All righty, we've got fish on the grill. Lighting's probably pretty terrible out here, I apologize. Still getting this whole thing dialed in. So I've got my little snapper uh, cubes on the piece of aluminum foil because snapper is extremely delicate. Likes to fall apart as you can see. Um, just makes things a little nicer, not as messy. So those are gonna cook really quickly. Flipped them over, so now I'm gonna throw this guy on there sweet little morsel that won't take long at all that'll be maybe maybe a minute on each side extremely thin but there's still a lot of meat left on there and it is delicious what you think tipsy tipsy proof all right here we go fresh off the grill not much to this I need two hands for this I'm telling you, if you have not tried this salad, you need to. It is incredible. I didn't invent it. I stole it from someone. So there you have it. A lot of meat left on these guys. Like little snapper lollipops. Let's see how much comes off there. Oh. You get a little piece? All right, that's my first uh, catch and cook. Let me know what you think, I like feedback. I'm having fun with it, creative criticism. I will ch check you next time, guys.
Take it easy.